Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym. I'm ready? Oh, showered, obviously. Um, let's go. Next episode of Black Adder goes forth. Hey guys, get cozy. Private plane. Hold on, this is the correct... This is the correct episode, right? Yes. Yes, yes, we're good. Yes, but Jerry is safe underground in concrete bunkers. We've shot off over a million cannon shells, and what's the result? One Daxon with a slight limp. Shut up! Thank you. Right, I'm off to bed where I intend to sleep until my name changes to Rip Van Adder. Not getting jokes, huh? <sighs> Sir Hugh Massingbird, Massingbird, VC, DFC, and Bar. Message reads, where are you, you bastard? <laughs> Here I am, sir. Oh, sure. God's sake, Baldrick. Guys, sorry. I'll go back. I know when I pause, okay? I've learned. When I pause to talk, just go back so I don't miss. Is there a certain part of the front in the, on the Western Front that they're at? Or is it just supposed to depict just the whole Western Front? Did I miss something? Okay. Are you, you bastard? I'm born. Here I am, sir. For God's sake, Baldrick, take cover. Why is that, sir? Because there's an air raid going on, and I don't want to have to write to your mother at London Zoo and tell her that her only human child is dead. All right, sir. It's just I didn't know there was an air raid on. I couldn't hear anything over the noise of the terrific display by our wonderful boys of the Royal Flying Corps, sir. What? I say, those chaps got off. Thunder in their airborne steeds, can't they just? Hello, uh, what's going on here? Game of hide and seek. Excellent. Right, uh, I'll go count to a hundred. Uh, no, better make guys. it five, actually. Uh, oh, it's sardines! Oh, excellent, that's my favourite one, that. George! Yes, sir? Shut up and never say anything again as long as you live. Right, what, sir? <laughs> Crikey, but what a show it was, sir! Lord Flashart's flying aces! How we cheered when they spun, how we shouted when they dived, how we applauded when one chap got sliced in half by his own propeller. <laughs> well, it's all part of the joke for those magnificent men and their flying machines. For magnificent men, read biggest show-off since Lady Godiva entered the royal enclosure at Ascot, claiming she had literally nothing to wear. <laughs> I don't care how many times... <laughs> Guys, help me. And they go up closure at Ascot, claiming she had literally nothing to wear. <laughs> I don't care how many times they go up diddly up up, they're still gits. <laughs> oh, come on, sir. I'd love to be a flyer up there where the air is clear. The chances of the air being clear anywhere near you, Baldrick, <laughs> are zero. Oh, sir, it would be great swooping and diving. <laughs> Bolrick, 
What are you doing? I'm a Sopwith camel, sir. It is a Sopwith camel. Ah, right. I always get confused between the sound of a Sopwith camel and the sound of a malodorous runt wasting everybody's time. <laughs> now, if you can do without me in the nursery for a while, I'm going to get some fresh air. Yes! Flash heart and flash go out. What? Disgusting! A bosh on the sole of my boot. I just have to find a patch of grass to wipe it on. <laughs> Probably get shunned in the officer's mess. Sorry about the pong, you fellows. Trod in a bosh and can't get rid of the whiff. <laughs> Do you think we could dispense with the hilarious doggy do metaphor for a moment? <laughs> I'm not a Bosch, this is a British trench. Is it? Oh, that's a piece of luck. Thought I'd landed sausage side. Ah. <laughs> yep, yep. Why don't we use your phone? That's a piece of luck. Thought I'd landed sausage side. Ah. <laughs> Why don't we use your phone? If word yeah. gets out that I'm missing, 500 girls will kill themselves. <laughs> I wouldn't want them on my conscience. Not that they ought to be on my face. <laughs> Flash out here. Yeah. Cancel the state funeral. Tell the king to stop blubbing. Flash is not dead. I simply ran out of juice. <laughs> yeah, and before all the girls start saying, oh, what's the point living anymore? I'm talking about petrol. Woof, woof. <laughs> yeah, I dumped the kite on the prowl, so send a car. Uh, General Melchett's driver should do. She hangs around with a big knob, so she'd be used to a fellow like me. Woof, woof. <laughs> Look, do you think you can make your obscene phone call somewhere else? <laughs> in half an hour, you rubber desk Johnny. <laughs> Send the bitch with the wheels right now or I'll fly back to England and give your wife something to hang her towels on. You guys ever try? What did he call them in the beginning? Oh, sorry, just, just, just let me... Uh, I, I'm ruining it. Fly back to England and give your wife something to hang her towels on. <laughs> Okay, dig out your best booze and let's talk about me till the car comes. <laughs> yeah, I must be pretty impressed having Squadron Commander the Lord Flashheart drop in on your squalid bit of line. Actually, no. I was more impressed by the contents of my handkerchief the last time I blew my nose. <laughs> yeah, like how. <laughs> You've probably got little pickers of me on the walls of your dugout, haven't you? <laughs> I bet you go all girly and giggly every time you... Look, I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, most of the infantry think you're a prat. <laughs> them who they'd prefer to meet, Squadron Commander Flashheart and the man who cleans out the public toilets in Aberdeen. <laughs> they go for wee jock poopong mcplop. <laughs> I was so close to missing that. What was I going to ask? Oh yeah, it's especially self-conscious when like the uh, the you know the is a huge laugh and I don't. <laughs> 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 uh, I honestly thought that the, the my God. Yes, I suppose I am. <laughs> oh, flash up! This is the greatest honor of my life. I hope I snuff it right now to preserve this moment forever. It could be arranged. Oh, Flash Art, I want to learn to write so I can send a letter home about this golden moment. So all the fellas hate me, eh? Not a bit of it. I'm your bloody hero, eh, old scat? Jesus. <laughs> now, Lord, I've got every cigarette card they ever printed of you. My whole family took up smoking just so that we could get the whole set. <laughs> Cigarette card, guys? Uh, help, but... My whole family took up smoking just so that we could get the whole set. My grandmother smoked herself to death so we could afford the album. Oh, of course she did. Of course she did, the poor love-crazed old octogenarian. Uh, <laughs> well, all right, you fellas. Let's sit us down and yarn about how amazingly attractive I am. Yes, would you excuse me for a moment? I've got some urgent business. There's a bucket outside I've got to be sick into. <laughs> you chaps let's get comfy you look like a decent british bloke i'll park the old booties on you if that's okay it would be an honor my lord of course it would <laughs> oh, oh, have you any idea what it's like to have the wind rushing through your hair no sir <laughs> Straight through a 
bedroom window, popped a box of chops on the dressing table, machine gun my telephone number into the wall, and then shot off and shagged her sister. <laughs> Driver Parkhurst reporting for duty, my lord. Well, 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 if it isn't little Bobby Parkhurst, saucier than a direct hit on a Heinz factory. <laughs> Well, that's how I like my girls. <laughs> Direct and to my point. Woof! Woof! Tell me how then, back to the bar. You should join the Flying Corps, George. That's the way to fight a war. Tasty tuck, soft beds, and a uniform so smart it's got a PhD from Cambridge. <laughs> you could even bring the breath monster here. <laughs> Anyone can be a navigator if he can tell his ass from his elbow. Well, that's boring out, I fear. We're always looking for talented types to join the 20 Minuters. And there goes George. Tell me who then, Bobby. Hush, here comes a whiz-bang. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Woof! Woof! God, it's like crufts in here. Say, <laughs> what a splendid notion. The 20 Minuters. Soft tucker, tasty beds, fluffy uniforms. Begging your permission, sir, but why do they call them the 20 minutes? Yes, true. Oh, now, yes, now, this one is in my Brook Bond Book of the Air. Now, you have to uh, collect all the cards and then stick them into this wonderful presentation booklet. Uh, ah, here we are, 20 minutes. Oh, damn, I haven't got the card yet. Uh, but the caption says, 20 minutes is the average amount of time new pilots spend in the air. 20 gonna... minutes. That's right, sir. I had a 20... I was going to guess the that. The hour watch yesterday with four hours overtime in two feet of water. Well, then, for goodness sake, sir, why don't we join? Yeah, be better than just sitting around here all day on our elbows. <laughs> no, thank you. I have no desire to hang around with a bunch of upper-class delinquents, do 20 minutes' work, and then spend the rest of the day loafing about in Paris, drinking gallons of champagne and having dozens of moist, pink, highly experienced young French peasant girls galloping up and down my... Hang on. <laughs> Cut. A description. Ah, oh, Captain Blackadder. Good morning, Captain Darling. What do you want? You're looking so well. I'm a busy man, Blackadder. Let's hear it, whatever it is. Well, you know, darling, <laughs> every man has a dream. Mm. And when I was a small boy, I used to watch the marsh warblers swooping in my mother's undercroft. <laughs> and I remember thinking, will men ever dare do the same? And, you know... Oh, you want to join the Royal Flying Corps? Oh, that's a thought. <laughs> Could I? No, you couldn't. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Darling, just give me an application form. It's out of the question. This is simply a ruse to waste five months of training, after which you'll claim you can't fly after all because it makes your ears go pop. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't born yesterday, Blackadder. More's the pity we could have started your personality from scratch. <laughs> so, the training period is five months, is it? It's no concern of yours if it's five years and comes with a free holiday in Tunisia, contraceptive supplied. <laughs> Besides, they wouldn't admit you. It's not easy getting transfers, you know. Now you've tried it yourself, have you? And no, I haven't. <laughs> Trust you to try and sky off to some cushier option. There's nothing cushier about life in the Women's Auxiliary Balloon Corps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the bishop said, I'm awfully sorry, I didn't realise you meant organist. Hey. <laughs> hey. Thank you, George. Oh. Uh, at ease, everybody. Now, where's my map? Come on, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> God, it's a barren, featureless desert out there, isn't it? <laughs> The other side, sir. <laughs> Hello, George. What are you doing here? Me, sir? I... Hey, There's I can understand that. Join right. the Royal Flying Corps. Hello, Blackadder. What are you doing here? Me, sir? I just popped in to join the Royal Flying Corps. And, of course, I said... Bravo! I hope, darling. <laughs> because, you know, I've always had my doubts about you trenchy type fellows. I always suspected there might be a bit too much of the battle-dodging, nappy-wearing, I'd rather have a cup of tea than charred, stark-naked Jerry about you. <laughs> if you're willing to join the 20 Minuters, then you're all right by me and welcome to marry my sister any day. Are you sure about this, sir? Certainly. You should hear the noise she makes when she eats a boiled egg. <laughs> have to get her out of the house. <laughs> so, report back here, 0900 hours for your basic training. Crikey, I'm looking... Guys, I have to pee so bad. One sec. Okay, sorry. All right, we're good. I wash my hands. Looking forward to today. Up, diddly up. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you have to get her out of the house. <laughs> so, report back here. Oh, 0900 hours for your basic training. Crikey, I'm looking forward to today. Up, diddly up, down, diddly down. Whoops, poop, twiddly dee. 
decent scrap with a fiendish red baron, bit of a jolly old crash landing behind enemy lines, capture, torture, escape, and then back home in time for tea and medals. George, who's using the family brain cell at the moment? This is just the beginning of the training. The beginning of five long months of very clever, very dull men looking at machinery. Hey, girls, look at my machinery! <laughs> Into the man who has no underwear. Ask me why. <laughs> why do you have no underwear, Lord Flash? Because the pants haven't been built yet that'll take the job on. <laughs> and that's the type of guy who's doing the training around here. Sit down. He is acting is perfect spot on. The head movement. Yeah. Ooh. Where, Lord Flash, because the pants haven't been built yet that'll take the job on. <laughs> and that's the type of guy who's doing the training around here. Sit down. Well, 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 if it isn't old Captain Slackbladder. Slackbladder. Couldn't resist it, eh, Slackbladder? Told you you thought I was great. All right, men, let's do it. The first thing to told you you thought I was great. To remember is always treat your kite. Like you treat your woman. <laughs> How do you mean, sir? Do you mean, um, do you mean take her home at the weekend to meet your mother? <laughs> no, I mean get inside her five times a day and take her to heaven and back. I'm beginning to see why the suffragette movement want the vote. <laughs> hey, hey, any bird who wants to chain herself to my railings and suffer a jet movement gets my vote. Well, I'll see you in ten minutes for takeoff. Hang on, hang on. Yes, what about the months of training? Hey, wet pants! This isn't the women's auxiliary balloon corps. You're in the twenty minutes now, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Pratt at the back. <laughs> I think we'd all be intrigued to know Darling. why you called the twenty minutes. Oh, Mr. Thicker, imagine not knowing that. <laughs> well, it's simple. The average life expectancy for a new pilot is twenty minutes. <laughs> ah. Life expectancy. Wait, what? Imagine not knowing that. <laughs> well, it's simple. The average life expectancy for a new pilot is 20 minutes. Ah. Life expectancy <laughs> of 20 minutes. That's right. Goggles on, chocks away, last one backs a homo. Hooray! <laughs> so, we take off in 10 minutes. We're in the air for 20 minutes. And you die. <laughs> Which means we should be dead by 25 to 10. I'm forgetting. Very blighted, sir. This is a bit of a turn up for the plus four. I shouldn't worry about it too much, Baggett. <laughs> Flying's all about navigation. As long as you've got a good navigator, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're screwed. No, Baldrick's amazing. See, they're right. This is a double. Whoops, whoops, a little wobble there. I'll get the hang of it, don't worry. All right, Baldrick, how many rounds have we got? Uh, 500, sir. Cheese and tomato for you, rat. Turns out, tally, belly, hell. What's this, sir? Ah, no, no. <laughs> Baldrick, Baldrick, will you stop arsing about it? Get back in the pocket. Hey, sir, look, I can see a pretty red plane from up here. Uh-oh. It stood right on our tail. No. Yes, now this is developing into a distinctly boring situation. But you're still on our side of the line. So ah! I'll crash land and claim my ears when oh, first time out. Four minutes. Don't we fall on something soft. Fine, I'll try and aim between General Melchin's ears. <laughs> I don't believe it. A German prison cell <laughs> for two. After and a half years, the Western Front has been as likely to move as a Frenchman who lives next door to a brothel. <laughs> and last night, the Germans advance a mile and we land on the wrong side. Oh dear, Captain B, my tummy's gone all squirty. That's because you're scared, Baldrick, and you're not the only one. I couldn't be more petrified if a wild rhinoceros had just come home from a hard day at the swamp and found me wearing his pyjamas, smoking his cigars and in bed with his wife. <laughs> What these Germans will do, sir, they'll have their wicked way with anything a woman born. Well, in that case, Baldrick, you're quite safe. <laughs> However, the Teutonic reputation for brutality is well founded. Their operas last three or four days. <laughs> and they have no word for fluffy. 
I want my mum. Yes, it'd be good to see her. I should imagine a maternally outraged gorilla could be a useful ally. That's a final scrap. Prepare to die like a man, Bullrick. Or as close as you can come to a man without actually shaving the palms of your hands. Good evening. I'm Orgel Leutzmann von Gerhard. I have a message from the Baron von Wiechthofen, the greatest living German. Which, considering his competition consists entirely of very fat men in leather shorts burping to the tune of She Will Coming Round the Mountain, <laughs> is no great achievement. Yes! <laughs> And what is your message? It is, prepare for a fate worse than death, English flying fellow. Oh, so it's a traditional warm German welcome. <laughs> also, he is saying, do not try to escape or you will suffer even worse. A fate worse than a fate worse than death. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> Yes, well, impossible. Oh, yes, well, you see, it's all very well for you, isn't it? Sitting here behind your, behind your, behind your comfy desk. Don't you take that tone with me, Lieutenant. I'll have you on a charge for insubordination. Well, I'd rather be on a charge for insubordination than on a charge of deserting a friend. How dare you talk to me like How that? Dare How dare you? Now then, now then, now, now then. Now then, now then, then now. Now then, what's going on here? That damn fool Blackadder has crashed his plane behind enemy lines, sir. This young idiot wants to go and try and rescue him. It's a total waste of men and equipment. He's not a damn fool, sir. He's a bully right. hero. All right, all right, all right. I'll deal with this, darling. Delicate touch needed, I fancy. <laughs> now, George, do you remember when I came down to visit you when you were a nipper for your sixth birthday? You used to have a lovely little rabbit, beautiful little thing, do you remember? Flossie. That's right, Flossie. <laughs> do you remember what happened to Flossie? You shot him. <laughs> That's right. It was the kindest thing to do after being run over by that car. By your car, sir. <laughs> yes, by my car. But that, too, was an act of mercy when you would remember that that dog had been set on him. Your dog, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, my dog. But what I'm trying to say, George, is that the state young Flossie was in after we'd scraped him off my front tire <laughs> is very much the state that young Blackadder will be in now. <laughs> if not very nearly dead, then very actually dead. <laughs> Permission for lip to wobble, sir. <laughs> Permission granted. <laughs> Stout fellow. <laughs> but surely, sir, you... Granted. <laughs> Stout fellow. <laughs> but surely, sir, you must allow me to at least try and save him. No, George, it would be as pointless as trying to teach a woman the value of a good forward defensive stroke. <laughs> Besides, it would take a superman to get him out of there, not the kind of weed who blubs just because somebody gives him a slice of rabbit pie instead of birthday cake. <laughs> I suppose you're right, sir. Of course I am. Now, let's talk about something more jolly, shall we? Look, this is the amount of land we've recaptured since yesterday. Oh, excellent. Um, what is the actual scale of this map, darling? One to one. Um, one to one, sir. <laughs> Come again. Uh, the map is actually life-size, sir. It's superbly detailed. Look, there's a little worm. Really? <laughs> so the actual amount of land retaken is? Excuse me, sir. 17 square feet, sir. <laughs> so you see... You Brits. Square feet, kilometers, miles, pounds, stone. Young blackhead. 17 square feet, sir. So you see, young Blackadder didn't die horribly in vain after all. If he did die, sir. <laughs> That's the spirit, George. If nothing else works, then a total pig-headed unwillingness to look facts in the face will see us through. <laughs> I'm hello. I am the Red Baron von Richthofen. And you are the two English flying aces responsible for the spilling of the precious German blood of many of my finest and my blondest friends. <laughs> I have waited many months to do this. You may have been right, Baldus. Looks like we're going to get Roger to death after all. Roger? Do you want me to go first, sir? <laughs> your English and your sense of humor. During your brief stay, I look forward to learning more of your wit, your punning, and your amusing jokes about the breaking of the wind. <laughs> well, Baldrick's the expert there. I certainly am, sir. <laughs> How lucky you English are to find the toilet so amusing. For us, it 
is a mundane and functional item. For you, it's the basis of an entire culture. I certainly am, sir. <laughs> How lucky you English are to find the toilet so amusing. For us, it is a mundane and functional item. For you, it's the basis of an entire culture. How old is the Germans don't know what comedy is stereotype? How old is that? Is that like, uh, how far back does that go? <laughs> I must now tell you of the full horror of what awaits you. Ah, you see, boulders, dress it up in any amount of pompous verbal diarrhea, and the message is, square heads down for the big Bosch gangbang. As an officer and a gentleman, you will be looking forward to a quick and noble death. Well, obviously. But instead, an even worse fate awaits you. Tomorrow, what? you will be taken back to Germany. Here it comes. To a convent school outside Heidelberg, where you will spend the rest of the war teaching the young girls home economics. Uh, For you, as a man of honor, the humiliation will be unbearable. Oh, I think you'll find we're tougher than you imagine. I can tell how much you are suffering by your long feces. <laughs> we're not suffering too much to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> say thank you, Baldrick. Thank you, Baldrick. <laughs> <laughs> How amusing! <laughs> but now, forgive me. I must take to the skies once again. Very funny. <laughs> the noble Lord Flashheart still eludes me. I think you'll find he's overrated. Bad breath and impotent, they say. <laughs> Sexual innuendo! <laughs> but enough of this. As you say in England, I must fly. <laughs> Perhaps I will master this humor after all, yeah? I wouldn't be too honest. As a little fellow, if you get lonely in the night, I'm in the old chateau. There's no pressure. <laughs> Pratful! <laughs> Is it really true, sir? Is the war really over for us? Yep. Out of the war and teaching nuns how to boil eggs. For us, the Great War is finito. A war that would be a damp sight simpler if we just stayed in England and shot 50,000 of our men a week. No more mud, death, rats, bombs, shrapnel, whiz-bangs, barbed wire, and those bloody awful songs that have the word whoops in the title. <laughs> Damn, he's, he's left the door open. Oh, good, we can escape, sir. Are you mad, Baldrick? I'll find someone to lock it for us. <laughs> Shush, TV, mum's the word, not half or what? <laughs> sir, why did you just slam the door on Lieutenant George? I can't believe it. Go away! <laughs> it's me, it's me! But what the hell are you doing here? Oh, never mind the hows and the whys and the do you mind if I don't? <laughs> Superman again. Well, it's funny you should say that because, uh, as it happens, I did have some help from a rather spiffing bloke. He's taken a break from some crucial top level shagging. Oh. It's me! Hooray! <laughs> Dog's potatoes, George! You Sorry. said. No Spontaneous punches just get me. Noble brother flyers were in the lurch. If I'd known you meant to. Potatoes, George. You said noble brother flyers were in the lurch. If I'd known you meant old slack bladder and the mound of the hound of the Baskervilles, <laughs> I'd probably let them stew in their own juice. And let me tell you, if I ever tried that, I'd probably drown. <laughs> <laughs> Still, since I'm here, I may as well do it. As the bishop said to the netball team, come on, chums. but I've splintered my pancreas. Uh, I seem to have this terrible cough. Cards! Cards! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Now, I may be packing the kind of tackle that you'd normally expect to find swinging about between the hind legs of a grand national winner. But I'm not totally stupid. I've got the kind of feeling you'd rather we hadn't come. No, 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 I'm very grateful. It's just that I'd slow you up. I think I'm beginning to understand. Are you? Just because I can give multiple orgasms to the furniture just by sitting doesn't mean that I'm not sick of this damn war. The blood, the noise, the endless poetry. 
<laughs> Is that really what you think, Flashard? Of course it's not what I think. Now get out that door before I redecorate that wall in an interesting new colour called Hint of Brain. <laughs> well, that's clear. Let's get back to that lovely wall, then. Woof! Woof! Oh! <laughs> And the Lord Flashart. This is indeed an honor. Julian. Finally, the two greatest gentlemen flyers in the world meet. Two men of honor who are jousted together in the cloud strewn glory of the skies. Face to face at last. How often I have rehearsed this moment of destiny in my dreams. The valor we to encapsulate the unspoken nobility of our comradeship. <laughs> Good Lord. Captain Baggett, I, I thought you were... Playing tennis? No. Dead? Uh, well, yes, unfortunately. Well, I had a lucky escape. No thanks to you. This is a friend of mine. Ah! Hi! Flash out. This is Captain Darling. Captain Darling! I had a lucky escape. No thanks to you. Green. This is a friend of mine. Ah! Hi! Flash out. This is Captain Darling. Captain Darling? Funny name for a guy, isn't it? <laughs> Last person I called Darling was pregnant 20 seconds later. <laughs> hey, you couldn't be bothered to help old Slacky here. Oh, well, it, it wasn't quite that, sir. It's just that we weighed up the pros and cons and decided it wasn't a reasonable use of our time and resources. <laughs> well, this isn't a reasonable use of my time and resources, but I'm going to do it anyway. What? <laughs> this. Oh! <laughs> All right, Slacky, I've got to fly. A two million chicks, only one flash art. <laughs> and remember, if you want something, take it. Bobby! My lord. I want something. Take it. <laughs> Get. Ah, oh, Blackadder, so you're a Blackadder. Skate. Yes, sir. Bravo. Don't slouch, darling. <laughs> I was wondering whether, having been tortured by the most vicious sadist of the German army, I might be allowed a week's leave to recuperate, sir. Excellent idea. Your commanding officer would have to be stark raving mad to refuse you. Well, you are my commanding officer. Well? Can I have a week's leave to recuperate, sir? Certainly not. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you guys keep saying, you know, I, you know... Wait for ep the last episode, all right? It's been fantastic. We got two more to go. I'm not sure what to do after that. Maybe the other Black Adders, Faulty Towers, or something. I uh, love you all. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for sticking around if you're still here. And uh, I'd appreciate any comments, any answers to questions I had about jokes I didn't understand. I uh, would really appreciate it. You guys are always awesome with that. See you guys next time. Bye.